YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part two of my thrift haul videos. I have a part one which is everything I got from Salvation Army and then this is part two which is everything I picked up from Goodwill. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm probably not going to be going thrifting very much anymore just because I've accumulated tons of clothing that I need to wear and um, I really want to invest more in my savings for travel this year and just do kind of more things like that so when i do have thrift hauls or clothing hauls in general i will be sure to post them for you guys um i think i have one more clothing haul after this and it's just a really small boohoo order that i placed so we're gonna start with some home decor stuff um i will insert a clip or a picture of the cutting board i found when i went to goodwill last weekend i found a brand new still in the package like 15 by 20 cutting board for 5.99 so I need a really big cutting board. We just have like the really small ones, um, like the small bamboo and plastic ones. So a really big cutting board is nice when you're cooking it for two. Um, and then I picked up this little black kitty ceramic thing. I kind of want to take the bow off and like fix the ear, but um, my cat Athena passed away um, two and a half weeks ago, almost three weeks. And I just, I saw this and it was tiny and I was like, and then I did pick up this basket right here. It's just a nice woven basket. I want to say this was like $3.99, so $4. And I got this originally to turn into a cat bed, cat bed, cat bed, but none of the cats can stay in it. When they get in, it like wobbles around. So I think I'm just gonna put like my yarn and my crochet projects in here. So moving on to miscellaneous things like accessories. These three items actually go together. They're for a project I'm working on. I'm about to film um, this coming week. So that might be up for this video or after I'm not sure. But this is like a really nice vintage, um, I think this is like a traveling makeup bag or maybe like a jewelry bag. And I'm black, but this is it. My vision for this, like I mentioned on Instagram, I did do a poll if you guys are ever wanting to partake in like polls and video stuff and like concepts and ideas. I do post a lot over on my stories, but I'm going to be turning this into a clutch. I think it would just be a lot prettier in that way. So because of that, I needed to pick up some fabric for the inside. Oh, this was like $3.99 by the way. I needed to pick up some fabric for the inside when I rip the um, guts, the inners out. So I got this, I think this is a napkin, but it's just like this really pretty like a dusty pink color, and this was 99 cents. And then I did pick up two accessories that I don't have to rip apart. I got this um, animal print little belt, and this was at 99 cents. It's faux leather. Um, it doesn't have the metal like clasping, which is fine. It still has these little straps, so I can use it as a waist belt and just pull it and make it tighter that way. I can put it around my hips. I can do whatever I want with this, so yeah. And then I found this cream colored oversized scarf and this was 99 cents as well. I did pick up three pairs of shoes. This first pair is from the brand MIA. I think that's how you say it or Maya maybe. Um, they are in size 7. They look like they've never been worn. They are just some brown um, slide on sandals and I have been eyeing a pair of these. Um, Target sells them actually and they're like 30 bucks but I paid for 49 and then I got a pair of heels to wear to work. They're originally from the brand at Nine West in a size seven and a half, and these were four forty nine as well. They're just this like shiny patent material. They have like the world's smallest heel, which is perfect for when I go to different facilities and want to look nice. And then I picked up a pair of booties. I actually wore these to work last week, so they're kind of dirty already. But they're in a size seven and a half. They're from the brand Bamboo. And they're just these brown ankle booties. I don't have any booties like this or boots in general. Um, I don't really wear this style of shoe, but with jeans it looks really nice. And they have these three buckles. They zip up on the inside and they're just really nice. Now we'll move on to clothing. And the first category I have is tops. The first one I got is this beautiful like multi blue, green, gold floral print top it's a very very sheer i think this is considered organza maybe if i'm saying that right it's like a really sheer top and i figured it was like white denim or um like blue jeans or shorts for like the spring and summer this could look really nice or both blouses that i'm hoping to be able to wear to work this one is originally from express and it is any size small it has this black and white long sleeve chiffon button up blouse and this was 4.49 and then I picked up this one, which is from Anna, A New Approach. It's a size small. This was 4 dollars 
It's like this white and like blue gray snake print top. I did pick up this sweater, which I love so much. It's oversized, which makes it even better. Um, it is a size 1X and it's originally from American Weekend Woman. I did already wear this, so the tag's off, but it was a $4.49. It's just this beautiful baby pink um, sweater. The last top I got is a blue crop top. It is from Forever 21, originally in a size small, and this is a $4.49. Just beautiful, like, cobalt blue, ribbed knit crop top. I did pick up some dresses and a jumpsuit. The first item is the jumpsuit. This is $6.99, and it is originally from Love Culture. I've seen this in the Goodwill before, and I just never tried it on because it is in a size medium, so it's a little too big for me. But when I did finally try it, I was like, I don't care if I have to take it in the sides. If I have to rework it, I love this. Holding up, not going to do it any justice, but it's just this plain black strapless um, jumpsuit with this beautiful like crochet detailing right here. There's a zipper on the back. It is a double lined with shorts underneath, and it's just beautiful and flowy. So hopefully I can get a good trial clip so you guys can really appreciate how beautiful it is. I did pick up this little dress, which is not something I would typically go for, but I got this the same day that I got those brown sandals, and I thought it would be really cute together. I honestly might cut this and turn it into a two-piece, because I feel like I would get better use out of it that way, but it just looks like this beautiful like tribal print. The top is nice and scrunchy, and then it has a tie-round neck, and it has some strap detailing on the back. This was $6.99. It's a size small originally from... Lulu's, right? Yeah, Lulu's. On the same trip that I got that dress, I picked up this one in a size small originally from... There is no brand tag. Okay, so I don't know where it's originally from. But this was $6.99 as well. You guys know I'm a sucker for this type of print and colorway. It's like a navy and like cream colored plunging dress. It does have like a wrap around front. The track clip you'll see a lot better version of it. Um, and then it does have adjustable straps on the back, so it's really pretty. And then I did pick up two other dresses, um, both from Forever 21. This one I got on my most recent trip. This is $6.99 in a size small, and it is this like deep red crushed velvet dress. It does have um, a tie around the top and then these little slits go underneath your boobs, and it's a maxi dress, and it's super thick, so I could wear it now. For like photos or a date night or anything like that and I tried it on and I was like this is so pretty. I love this. And then the last dress I picked up like I said is from Forever 21 and he says in medium. It does still have the original tag on it so it was $24.90 originally and I paid $6.99. Me holding up is not going to do any sort of justice because there was a ton of ties on it so um, it's just this red and white polka dot long wrap maxi dress so the trial clip will do a lot better justice so i'm not even gonna fuss with it so i did pick up some bottoms i picked up one pair of shorts these are originally from h&m in a size us 8 and they were 3.99 these are way too big on me but i don't mind altering them as you guys know it does have that nice stretchy um waistband so these are super cute they do have pockets so like that i picked up two pairs of denim the first pair is originally from it doesn't say there's no brand tag uh, all anywhere on here but they are in a size um 30 length these are skinny ankle high waist denim and these were 449 so i don't have a pair of like regular high waist denim that goes up really high and then down completely to my ankle so i picked up And then I grabbed these without trying them on in the store. I picked these up from the men's section just because I've been watching some YouTubers that do like thrift hauls, obviously. Um, and for their mom jeans, they recommend going into the men's section and grabbing uh, the closest size you can to your waist. So these are a 28 inch waist with a 30 length. Um, I did not try these on, probably should have. These were $6.99, so when I did try them on, they fit my thighs so tight. I my thigh, my quads and hamstrings cannot grow at all. And they are nice and loose around the waist, which is perfect. I wanted them to fit like mom jeans, and they kind of do. I already like cuffed the bottoms. And then I did pick up two pairs of like trousers that I want to wear for work. Um, these are a size four. They were $4.49, and they are from. 
can't pronounce that. That's the brand. So these are pretty loose on my waist, so I don't mind having to go in and uh, fix them. But they have like a zipper and a clasp on the front. They are these really nice high waist, dark red, almost wine colored trousers. And then I picked up this pair, um, and they are a size four. They are from the Limited, and they are part of their stretch line. And these were a four forty nine as well. I don't know what you would call this pattern, but it looks like this. They are also too big on my waist, so I will once again have to take these in. That's fine. And then I did, as always, pick up some flowy pants. Because you guys know that I love funky colored flowy pants. So the first pair I have is a size uh, P for petite. <laughs> and a size small laundry. The brand is Laundry by Shelly Siegel. And these were $4.49 as well. They are these black and like brownish colored sunflower floral pants. They have a tie around waist so you can adjust them. And this with a cream colored belt that I featured in my Salvation Army haul with some like boots or heels. I think these are so pretty and so nice. And then I picked up these really flowy like cream linen pants. I have been on the hunt for a pair of pants like this for so freaking long. They were $4.49 a size extra large and they are from unknown but the original tag is still on here and they retailed for $29.99 originally so they just look like this and I cannot wait to alter these and make them fit my body these are so gorgeous and I've been on the hunt for a pair of pants like this for so 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 long last category of stuff I have is all like robes and cardigans and yeah I think it's just like robes cardigans I do have like one kimono in here I think so the first cardigan I have is from Leo and Nicole. It's a size medium. I've already worn this a ton, but it is just this tight knit charcoal gray cardigan. Super nice. Love it for the cold weather. And then I did pick up this cardigan, which I've also already worn. It's a size small from Ann Taylor. Both of these cardigans were $4.49. And it's just this beautiful cream slouchy cardigan. And yeah, I love these little like button detailing it's just different i like that and the last like cardigan i did pick up is this one right here which is like a taupe tan white gray cardigan this is really long on me which i like it is a size medium from faded and glory this is super warm and cozy moving on to like the two cardigans i did get this one is a baby pink and white chiffon embroidery cardigan it was 449 it is a size large it's just beautiful it gives me tons of like whimsical vibes and tucked into some jeans or shorts if i don't want to wear open or tied up with like a white tank underneath it this looks really 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 pretty and then i picked up this one because you guys know i love this blue and white like china glass porcelain print and this was a size large it was 4.49 it's from the brand acceleration Text is medium large, so it just looks like this. It's super flowy. I love this detailing right here at the sleeve. You guys will see in the clip. To like create a sleeve, you have to tie these little like navy rope tassels, and it just looks really pretty. And then I did pick up like three jacket type things. The first one I've been on the hunt for for so long. It is a velvet jacket. It is from Cable and Gage, and I size medium. I think I already ripped the brand or the uh, price tag off, so just this black velvet uh, jacket. Picked up this black Bia jacket, and as soon as I brought it home, and Matt's like, you're gonna sell that, right? No, I'm not. I love it. Um, it is from Adriana Pepel. I think I'm saying that right. It's evening. It is a petite medium, and it was $6.99. It is giving me all the vibes. It reminds me of my grandma so much. It says black sparkly bead embellished jacket and I love this so much and then I picked up this really funky printed jacket this is from Barry Stevens originally um it is a size it doesn't say on there this is a size 12 so it just looks like this it was 
this is the funky print and if I tie this like a wrap style around the front with a chunky belt I can get away with wearing some heels with it because it's pretty long or I can wear some bicycle shorts underneath it I can leave it open with like a black dress or some jeans and this is just you guys know this is my type of vibe the last two items I picked up are robes I don't know why but lately I've been super into buying robes and just being very like and comfy <laughs> Um, this first one is a beautiful like lilac robe. It is originally from Victoria's Secret. It's a size one size and it was $1.99. And it has the original tag on it and it originally retailed for $38. So it just looks like this. And then I did pick up this robe, which is a turquoise and a purple pink floral robe. This was $1.99 and is originally from Angelique. It doesn't have a size tag on it. I've already worn it a ton. So that is what that looks like. That's everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you like hauls, please subscribe because I do them pretty frequently. Um, I also do transformation videos every month if you guys are interested in that. If you want to see me rip apart that old vintage makeup bag and turn it into a clutch, I will have a video up for you guys soon. I have a ton of new uh, content coming your guys' way. I'm just trying to get these haul videos out of the way first. So like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like the video and feel so inclined. My vintage closet and Instagram will both be linked down below, as well as any discount codes that I have. I do not make any money off of them. It'd be cool if I did, but I don't. So I think that's it. Uh, comment down below what your guys' favorite piece was or if you got any outfit suggestions. That would be great. And uh, 